What's up everybody and welcome back to Buckshot TV. It's the TV with shots and shots and bucks. Every second you're not running, I'm only getting closer. Anyways, we're off to Montana for for elk shed hunting. Hopefully we'll have better luck than we have this entire season so far. But I've been going here every year, multiple times a year, <laughs> since I was like five years old. I'll insert a picture of me when I was five, finding my first antler. First of all, let's just admire James's puzzle work here. Like, look at this. You just perfectly... Sweden. So we are out here, day one. It's cold and it's windy, but we saw the huge elk herd last night when we pulled in around like 3 a.m. And we saw um, four big bulls. They were all still packing, but they weren't um, onto the bulls in like the area that we usually are. So yeah, I don't know how long we're gonna hike out here today. The conditions are interesting, but yeah. We're gonna get to it, so let's go. Uh, Annie! Hi. What's up, you guys? The audio on this video is probably gonna be crap, so I don't know if you can even hear me. My hat's not working. But we're up here in Montana. I'm sure Tara's already done an intro video or whatever, but I'm gonna get block the wind from you a little bit. So basically I've been uh, hiking up above everybody else because I'm a, you know, I'm just a beast. I was hoping it was paying off. The sign up here is just not as fresh as uh, down lower where they're at. But I just looked uh, over there, on that hillside over there, spotted me a brown. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'll show you guys. Right there. Heck yeah, dude, I'm stoked. Oh my. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Holy crap. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. That is a solid freaking bull, dude. Heck yeah, dude. That's a sick bull. He's not a giant, but dang, look at that bull. That's so cool. Woo! So Tara just found a brown, too. <laughs> I can hear her freaking out over there, so I guess she's not coming over to this side. I'll probably, probably hit that way, but I'm gonna see if I can see what she's, she's going on. Okay, <laughs> I'm running out of breath. <laughs> I'm apologizing in advance for the wind. But I just found my first brown elk shed of 2021 and James just found his over back here his first brown elk shed um his looks way bigger than mine from what I could see through my bind nose but I'm gonna pick it up here oh yeah I see it <laughs> heck yeah dude well, let's pick this bad boy up and let's see if that could be the other side. Might be. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you guys can even see me, but. Oh, oh that's a freaking. Oh, dude. Look at that. Look at that. That is what we're looking for right there. Oh my gosh, dude, that's sweet. I mean, he's not a giant bull, but he is, he's dense, he's heavy, good genetics. Dang, dude. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. There it is. Oh my gosh. All I saw was <laughs> these 
uh, G1 and G2. But I guess that's the Royal and then there's the main beam, but oh, I'm so happy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, that's me. Ah! So, I looked down there because I thought I saw something like resembling an elk antler. Um, I think that actually turned out to be a stick. But then, upon closer inspection, I see three tines. So, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get a picture of it through the binos, and then we'll go down there and pick it up. Horn, but oh my god, that's so brown! There we go. Number two. You know, actually, this might be from last year now that I'm looking at it, but oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's this guy. Yeah, you know what? This is not brown. This is from last year. Looks like it was just kicked over. Maybe the snow kind of pushed it because it's all white on this side and then it's got a little bit of brown, but I'm still so excited about this. I don't know if it's worth looking for the other side, given that it's from last year, but this does, oh, this guy's been chewed up a little bit. It does make me feel good knowing there's stuff in the lower area so that means that people haven't been down here but yeah Wah! that is a big one there's more in there dude that is a huge wow. antler this is not bad either holy crap let me see that one Antler's huge. Yeah. Sure. By far, dude. Okay. Bigger, By far. Bigger than that set that I let Dave take half of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's bigger than that. That's what she said. Yes. I think I might have just matched up my dad's shed. That big six point that he found. I think I just matched it up. Yes. All right, let me show you guys. So I'm headed towards this tree over here. Because you can see, I mean, it's just been absolutely mutilated. And uh, I take a glance uphill. Boom. Right there. <laughs> Let's go see if it's the other side. Holy crap. Look at that thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I got the other side. Yes, dude. Look at that thing. Oh. Holy crap. Dude. That's such a solid bowl. Oh, I'm so happy we mashed him up. I'm so stoked right now. Oh, yes. Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> that is such a solid bowl. And he has that little curvy thing too going on. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Look at that bull. Unbelievable. Dude. Cute that's, little that's, cute little guy. That's cute little guy. <laughs> cute, 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 cute little guy. Okay. 
Oh, he's actually got some mass to him. Is that a caterpillar? I'm so sorry. He's actually got mass. This is, why is this so heavy? I wasn't expecting it to be this heavy. This is a really, his base is, I can almost wrap my fingers around it. Really young, but I already got five points going. Look at that. I've never had more than one antler strapped to my pack, I'm pretty sure. And now I have three, and I'm so happy. <laughs> James gonna hate me. Yeah. Will he break up with me? Probably. I, dude, I don't even know what to say at this point. This is the other side of your other freaking one, dude. <laughs> Hold on. I'll trade you the two small ones for the two big ones. How's that? Yeah. What that, the heck are we doing? What? That is. That looks no like way. the other side. That is definitely the other side. That's totally. That's it, that's definitely it. No way. No way. This is the most insane day. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Trudging through the snow and the wind. Now it's like super sunny and it's warm. Hot. Let's go put them together. Let's do it. So they didn't go up. It's really your, your nose is big. Is it? Yeah. I like lemon meringue pie. Okay, we're making our final descent for today. We have how many sheds? Nine sheds. One, how many? Wait, eight brown, one white. I would say that's a pretty successful day. Anything to say? What is up? It is day two and I was out here looking for the other side to the six point I found yesterday, but I just found a white red corn shed. So yeah. James just told me to film. I'm doing that. <sighs> oh yeah, this guy's old. I'm still so happy though. That's another shed to add to my little list. I think I'm winning now, so yay! Yo, yo, what's up, rappers? <laughs> it's day two, and uh, Tara already got the first one of the day. I was, we were way up there. My dad was on this trail, and he would have found this one, but I just have eagle eyes, and I spotted it from like 50 yards away. And this one looks like it's the other side of that smaller one that he found yesterday that was hanging from a tree. But that one had a G2 though. And this and it didn't have as much curve. This might not be the other side, I don't know, but it's all broken and yours was all broken yeah, too. It looks, it looks the same size. So, and... That was shed a few days ago probably, at least a couple days ago I would say. But first brown of the day. And I found that big old six point right down the hill here. So we're just trying to keep going, find something better. All right, so my dad just found a brown. We've been we've been on these tracks right here, as you can see them. They're running, they're just going up canyon. And I think this elk actually just shed. You can see his tracks right here. He's coming from that way, but I think he just shed that side. Yeah, I think he did. A little bit of red. A little bit of blood on there. That's awesome though. I wonder if that's the other side to Tara, one of ours. Tara, was yours a righty? I think that's a little bit smaller than Tara's and I's. Oh, remember the other one? I, had that other ride I can't that tell. Side? Oh yeah, that's true. That could be that one. The one that, that was, but they're the just headed found right down that here. That was on the same level down on that side. Yeah, they're just headed this way. So we're gonna keep going up this canyon. It's starting to snow a little bit, but I'm not gonna go back. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Let's go find. The, what are you doing? Looking at stuff. Okay. Let's go find the other side. Or we already have it, I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, look at the bird, dude. Back oh my gosh. That whole side. Dang. 
That set's totally yours though, dude. We think think it's a set. That's a set. Oh, yeah, look at the shapes. That's definitely a set. Yeah. For sure, dude. That is so he, bloody. You know what the crazy thing is? He just shed those like 15 minutes ago. We've been following an elk all the way through here, and we don't know, but we think the guy just That's shed it. Dude. That's so. so cool. Here, let me see. Yeah, look at the curve up there. I mean, yeah. they're identical. Yeah. This side's bigger for sure. And that side's broken. But... Yeah, this side's way bigger. Look at his fronts and everything. This is reminding me, like, holding these makes me realize how big the ones we found two days ago were. Yeah, I know, they're so big. Get a good shot of that, though. What's up, guys? Yeah, it's a brown. Um, so, we've been going for a few more hours, haven't found anything. I've been hiking like straight up and I've just been in this really tough terrain. It sucks. Um, I haven't been seeing too much fresh sign, maybe a couple bulls going through here, but um, they're way down lower, like super far down. But yeah, no, I just spotted a, a big antler it looks like. I don't, I mean, I don't think it's like a monster, but it's it's a solid shed. It's better than what we've, what the other things we found today, but it looks, it looks solid. I can't tell how big it is though, but I'll show you. Okay, so I'm just kind of following this trail here, and if you look over there, there she is. Let's go check it out. It's a solid little sixty. Oh, there's a skull right there too. Dang, it's a solid shed though. Yeah, that's better than better than the other stuff we've been finding today. So I'm super happy about that. Kind of looking around to see if I can see the other side, but dang, heck yeah. Looks like it's probably from a couple days ago. So I'm gonna pick that up and then keep following this trail. So I'm gonna see what the skull's about though. Huh, interesting. All right, let's pick this bad boy up. Okay, let's see it. Super solid. Do you think this is the other side of yours, Tara, or no? Okay, I thought the same thing, but like there's no way, right? Could be. Too far away? Solid though. Yeah. Nice. Really great. Alright guys. We just found this good old deadhead right here. Big dark raghorn. I don't think I don't think that was a winter kill. I think that's hasn't been here for that long so it's probably like a mountain lion kill that's sweet though look at his freaking look how curvy he is how are these solid yeah they're freaking yeah, solid they're dude solid. and this is very very interested in this yeah we'll have to crack his head off even got the bottom that's a big old skull dude dang that's cool is he stinky actually he's not too bad Good thing it's pretty much dried out so we can just peel Snap off the off. skin, but yeah, try cracking his head off. I'll let you do it. No. <laughs> do it. You found it. I can't. Do it. Let me do this. Just step on the leg and then crank oh his head God. around in a circle. Here, take my antlers and I'll try. So I do this. I don't want to break the skull. Well, just twist his head. Just take, just step on the thing and then twist it. You need, twist. you need Big Papa to come over there and do it? Yeah. Close. Tara. Your job. There we go. Yay! Oof. 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 So, just dropped this on and are hiking out and I just spotted this it is completely buried in the ground i have no idea what it is so i guess we'll find out go for it professor yeah it's just like a weird this is huge okay but look at this this fur is crazy look. this fur hey hey yeah that's how they are when they're young it's kind of weird looking 
I thought I'd get some of your complaining on video. Oh no. We're gonna have to amputate. <laughs> no, you look like an idiot. Guys, we literally walked past this because there's the leg you guys were looking at. Is this the other side of yours? It might be. Might be. I think mine's too small. That's it. Really? Yeah. Might be. Maybe a late shutter. Uh, it's hard to tell. The ba look at the bases, though. I think that's a. Well, yeah, maybe. Might be. I don't know. I mean, their two G1s look identical. That's a fist. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. So we're we're uh, heading out fishing right now. It's a little cold. We're gonna catch lots of fish, dude. So we literally, yeah. I mean, we're gonna try. We'll see, but we can't wait or anything. Not that I would want to, because of how freaking cold it is. But we'll see how it goes. Well, we didn't catch anything, obviously. <laughs> Which is fine. So, it's pretty out here. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty right there. Hey, we got the Jeep loaded up with antlers. Barely fit in there, by the way. But yeah, we found some, some really solid sheds this trip. And it's been a super fun trip, so yeah, we found more sheds on this trip than the whole rest of the year combined, basically. So I don't know. We're gonna keep trying once we get back to Utah. Go back some of go back to the some of the elk spots that we found and see if we can get anything from, from there. Uh, it seemed like we were a bit early. But we'll go see. And uh you'll be seeing some more videos from us and uh there might be a Jeep video or two coming because I have to redo the taillights on it and everything, so it's going to be fun, but yeah. Jeep full of sheds, happy dog, so that's how we're ending off the trip, so yeah, not too shabby good trip honestly so we'll be back up here though